Here are solutions to homework set number five for ECE 376. Now the first problem, trying to build a NeoPixel flashlight. Now on your LCD display, you can adjust the contrast with this little knob right here. I'll get it so you can see it. Okay, the goal of this project is to come up with a NeoPixel flashlight, kind of your choice on the requirements. What I'm gonna do is input two numbers, like one, two, three, then hit pound, if I do that, this is the brightness of 123, 255 full, full brightness, if I do the number 5. It's a lot dimmer, 10, brighter, 50, and full brightness, and off. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, the first part is come up with the requirements. I want to input a number 0 to 255 on the keypad, then actually press the star button. I'm going to change that. Press the star button. Uh, the new pixel then turn on a white light with that level of brightness. Next step is come up with a flowchart. So here what I'm going to do is initialize all the I.O. pads, read the keypad, that's my number 0 to 255. When I get the star, I'll then update the new pixels, otherwise keep going. In terms of coding, you've got to set up the new pixel has a global variable at address zero. That's how C talks to assembly. Include the pic.h LCD, that way you have the LCD routines. The keypad routines, this is just copy and paste. There were some other programs that would use the keypad. I just copied this subroutine and pasted it, copied this one, pasted it into my code. There are subroutines for the NeoPixel. Just copy and paste NeoPixel display and then the assembler code. In C, you have to declare your subroutines before you use them. Now I can use those. The main routine is to initialize the I.O. ports, uh, talk to the display. I'm going to force port D pin 0 to output. That's where I'm talking to the NeoPixel, right here. And then the main loop. I'm going to keep on looping, reading the keypad. So if I type in the number 1, 2, 3, that gets added in right here. When I hit the pound button, that, that's a scan code of 10. It then copies X to Y, displays Y on all NeoPixels, clears X, and then at the end I display on the LCD display, the two numbers. So this is kind of where the LCD is kind of nice. I can sit there and check, does my keypad work? If that works, can I push that onto the stack? Push that onto Y. If that works, can I copy Y to the new pixel? Going step by step, and it's not too bad to write the code. But that's problem number one. When I'm done, my code is half that, 2,163 lines of assembly. I wouldn't want to write that in assembly. To check the code, what I can do is measure the current. So this is the current com coming on the red wire. If I have all the lights are off, it's drawing 7 milliamps. It takes a little bit of power just to do nothing. If I increase it to 255, it draws to 60 milliamps. That's each new pixel is 20 milliamps red, green, blue, times all of them. If that's 100%, then if I do 5, it ought to be 5 out of 255. It should be 1.9%. It really is 1.9%. 12 out of 260. 100 should be 39%. It's actually 40%. So basically, the current is doing what I expect. For LEDs, current is light. As they get brighter and brighter, I'm drawing more and more current. So that's problem number one. The next set of problems. I want to control a stepper motor. So here's what I want it to do. I want to have an analog input. That inputs number 0 to 255. My output's the stepper motor. As I turn the knob, that specifies where the motor should go. And the motor goes to that angle. So here's what it should look like. The knob changes my reference. That's how many steps it should be. So if I wanted to go to 57 steps, the motor then spins, 
and goes to 57 steps. If I tell it I want to go to 132, it goes to 132. Go back to 12, goes back to 12. And kind of give an idea, let's adjust this so, okay, so there, that's zero. I tell it to go to 200, that ought to be all the way around. There's 200, yep, all the way around. Halfway around is 100. That's about halfway around. 90 degrees is 50. Okay, so I can control the angle with the analog input. That's one use of analog inputs. It's another way to get data to your pick, but here I can easily adjust what number I want to input using the analog button. So again, how do I do that? Well, the first step, let's do a flowchart. I'm going to initialize the ports, including turn on the analog input. I'll then start looping. I'll read the analog input and then check. Is my actual angle less than the reference? If so, step forward one step. So this goes plus one. Am I less than my reference? Or is reference less than my step? Uh, go backwards by one. Otherwise, do nothing. Display and step. Already stepped. Uh, display, then keep looping. So there's the flow chart. The main routine. Again, initialize port B's input. For no apparent reason, I'm not using the buttons. Port C's output, that's what the stepper motor is. I've got to turn on the analog input, so I need this section of code that sets port A to analog. Actually, all of port A is analog. Um, then start looping. I'm going to read the analog input, divide by 4. This goes 0 to 1,023. Divide by 4 gives you 0 to 255. That's my reference. Two if statements. Either want to go forward one or backwards one step. Uh, based upon the step, do a lookup table. Here's my lookup table right here, 1, 2, 4, 8. Output the pattern 0, 0, 0, 1. That's 1, 2, 4, 8. And you can see that on the stepper motor. This is the bit pattern, so there's two. 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8. That makes the motor step. Uh, wait a millisecond, basically because the LCD already takes about 10 milliseconds to run, and repeat. When I'm done, I've got 2842 bytes divided by 2, 1421 lines of assembly. Again, wouldn't want to do this in assembly. That's really the nice thing about C. Much easier writing code. For validation, do kind of what I said. Oh, it's kind of demoing. I can check at 0, 50, 100, 200 steps. And it is stepping at the right rate. I can step, check these steps per second. Um, it's supposed to be 30. I did 255 steps and 7.47 seconds measured both with a stopwatch. 29 milliseconds per step. With my code, that's all the faster I can go. Again, I'm al already cut this down to its almost bare minimum. The rest of the code is what takes up the time. That's 29 milliseconds. So apparently I meet the specs. And that's homework set number five for ECE 376, using a keypad and using analog inputs to control stepper motors, to control NeoPixels.